Welcome back. Want to have a romantic getaway for Valentine's Day without leaving town? Hotel Indy is one of the city's newest and coolest boutique hotels. Yelp reviews rave about the hotel's location features as well as its hip vibe. Joining me live with more on Hotel Indy might make the perfect spot for a staycation is Brittany Smith. Brittany, I got a chance to look at the hotel's website. Pretty incredible place. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it is definitely beautiful. Hotel India is a prime location downtown. Tell me a little more. Yeah, it's hard to beat. So this was once the State Farm or State Life Insurance building downtown, and now it's home, obviously, to one of our newest boutique hotels. It just opened up in November. And as you saw from some of the pictures, the mid-century modern design is gorgeous. It's just two blocks from Monument Circle, across the street from the Cultural Trail. You truly couldn't ask for better walkability when it comes to being downtown. Um, and, and this is also just a great example how a lot of these boutique hotels that are opening up in the city have strong ties to the community. You're going to see local ingredients on the menu use thoughtful artwork the history of the building is a big piece of it that folks love to visit for you're going to see that in every room throughout this building tell me about <laughs> this uh, skyline view it's pretty amazing yeah, it's definitely one of the things that stands out in the Yelp reviews, the floor to ceiling windows, the skyline view at the rooftop bar, which is called the Cannon or Cannonball Lounge. It's gorgeous if you haven't been up there yet. Okay. They've got half price bottles of wine on Mondays, live music on Thursdays. So it truly is a place, whether you're local or you're a tourist wanting to check it out, it's a really fun space. You mentioned earlier that this hotel has some strong ties to the community. We're talking about the, the drinks, the artwork, the local food. Yes, the Holman, which is the restaurant on the lower level, it focuses on local ingredients. They even have, you know, a lot of different spirits and beers from across the state, as well as Tinker Coffee in the morning at their Brandon Coffee Bar. Mm -hmm. I actually just stopped by myself last week, grab a, co a coffee to hit the cultural trail. It's a really fun stop, whether you're staying in the night or you just want to pop by for some food. And coming up on Valentine's Day, they actually have a $58 preset menu. So if you're, you know, still needing to get your reservations, that's a good option there, too. Okay, that's a great idea. Definitely. Definitely. When did this hotel open? And, you know, for people who want to go, how many rooms are there? Yeah. So you're looking at well over 100 rooms. It's dog friendly. So if you want to take your pup with you, it opened up in November. So just in the first few months, you can be one of the first folks to actually check it out. Um, it's got the multiple restaurants throughout the building to check out. Obviously, a lot of programming, too. So keep an eye on their events calendar. And I think the other fun thing to point out is that this is one of many boutique hotels that have opened in the last year. And there are several new ones on the horizon, too. So giving you a good excuse to have, plan a staycation now and maybe another one later in the year. Why not? Why not? Brittany Smith, Director of Community Campaigns for Yelp. Thank you. We will see you again tomorrow with another staycation idea.